get away from me, and I've just been holding him long enough to get a few decent pictures. So if I can just bring him around, he can come back to the water, and he can go on his way. He's got to be careful he doesn't come for me. It had happened. Something I'd managed to avoid for 30 years. I'd been nailed by a giant snake. I knew I had only seconds before I'd be wrapped in the python's lethal coils. The amazing thing is when I actually found the snake, there was just this little bit of pattern in the water. I thought I found a reticulated python. It's not a very big one. I'm going to get in and pull it out, you know? And I was pulling and pulling. And I said, like, this, this thing's actually got quite a girth on it. And eventually I got part of the snake out. And after a while I realized, this is a hell of a snake. I'd never seen a snake this big before. When I finally got him out, he took a look at me turned around, I thought I'm going to let him go, all I want to do is get my camera, and I want to take a photograph of this guy, spread out if I can, and I thought, there he goes, he's starting to take off, I'm gonna, he's spreading out, it's exactly what I want, because I don't want to fight with this guy, you know, off he goes, and I could reach for my camera, and as I reached, he turned around, and came straight back to me, I've never seen anything like in my life, he came straight at me with his body raised, with his mouth that open, and I mean his mouth is this size, it's that big, with all those teeth, and he came straight at me, and took long lunges at me, whack, ah, okay, they're not fast striking snakes because they're heavy, they're clumsy, he'd rather be in the water. But he took his long lunges and I realized straight away, wow, I better watch out here. That could have been the end of me. But then something completely unexpected happened. It let go of my arm and that doesn't happen. It shouldn't happen. I didn't understand that, I didn't realize it. Until later, I saw what actually happened. Its bottom jaw was on from my hand. It had got the top jaw onto the wrist. Teeth hook, it was trying to close, but it hooked the bottom jaw because they had so many teeth. I mean, they just hooked. It had hooked on my pants, and so it couldn't close the jaw. And by feeling that tension, it actually opened its mouth. It's incredible. That is incredible luck because I would have been really in bad trouble. Oh! I had gotten extremely lucky twice, but I couldn't count on my luck on the third assignment to find another giant snake. But this time, underwater. Imagine this guy being 30 foot long. Can you imagine that? When this guy grows up, he's going to be the heaviest bodied snake. for the first time, I lost my mind. I was desperate. I felt if that snake goes now, I'm never going to see another one. These snakes are not easy to find, not in spite of their size. They're incredibly camouflaged. The animal, is, it blends in perfectly, and half the time it's underwater. I just saw bits of snake going in the distance, and I knew it was heading for deep water, and I ran after the snake. And I ran to the until I couldn't run anymore. I was actually up to my weight. And I just lunged forward and grabbed onto the snake. And just held on. And by doing that, the snake simply pulled me along, pulled me right out of my depth, 
and of course I'll try to pull him more in, and by doing that he automatically curls around you, and the next thing I was out of my depth and I was drowning. So I held on with life, eh? I tell you, I held on with everything, but I went under, I went under with all this weight on me, and the snake's gripping, he now grips because there's something to grip on, but continuously moving away, like, and I had to pull in and pull in, hold my breath, got a touch, I could just feel my toes touching ground, kick myself up again, grab some air, and just hold on, and try and work my way back, if I think about it now, I nearly drowned, I nearly got killed by that snake. Once I got my feet gripped again, I started moving back towards the side. And he was still pulling away and everything, but he'd got tired enough for me to actually bring him out to the land. <laughs> yeah, we both tired. And amazingly, at that time, he didn't even strike at me, didn't try and bite me or do anything. It was incredible. And I was able to photograph the snake right there where I'd caught it. This is what makes it all worthwhile. To be able to get the perfect shot of a wild animal in its natural habitat. This is incredibly gorgeous animal. They are incredibly gorgeous. Oh, no, I'm so excited I can't believe it. It's a fabulous animal. It is unbelievably fabulous. And the skin glows and, and, and it shimmers and it's got these patterns, this mottled, it blends it. Everything about it is fantastic. But it's powerful. It was twice the span of my hand. Standing three or four. To look into the eyes of a snake like this is just fantastic. It's just what up in their necks to create a search for the moon rain. This is a snake. This is totally awesome. To look into the eyes of a snake like this is just fantastic. He's just watching me. Obviously, if I mess around with him, I'm looking for trouble. He wants to move away. I would gauge that this is the most potentially dangerous snake in the whole world. Not that its venom is more toxic than, say, for instance, a mamba or other cobras. But when he's in so many ways the king of all snakes. Absolutely. I've dreamt my whole life about come. The size of this. I can't get half of his body. Mine is heavy. They could maybe get another mutation of being aggressive. Let me have it. Cross of the world's bigger felt extremely honored. Yes. I had done with other species. Like with the spectacled co sees it, and you'll see. He... Now, all you do is keep his attention. Actually, touch him behind the head, and he doesn't even know because he can't see it. He pays no attention to my hand right on his head. How's that? <laughs> I knew that not every snake could be tricked. Touch a king cobra on the head. I've wanted to do that all my life. I can't believe that you can actually place your hand on top of 